I'm Matt Willis, Public Health Officer from Marin County with a COVID-19 update for October 28th. You might have heard in recent media about the so-called triple threat of viruses that are on the rise this fall. I'm going to describe what that means for us in Marin. The triple threat refers to the three most common respiratory viruses we're facing currently. They are SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19, influenza or flu, and a virus called respiratory syncytial virus, or RSV. In Marin, we're now able to measure levels of all three of these viruses in our wastewater, building on the surveillance system we built for tracking COVID-19. I'll break these down, starting with RSV, because it's the least familiar. Starting in September, we've seen a steady increase in RSV levels in our wastewater. RSV is one of the most important viruses you've never heard of. It's a common respiratory virus that usually circulates in fall and winter. Almost all of us have been infected more than once with RSV, and most of us had it when we were babies. Most people with RSV get better in a week or so and experience it as a kind of common cold, but it can have more serious effects on people at both ends of the age spectrum. In babies under age one, the RSV hospitalization rate is more than 10 times higher for RSV than it is for COVID or flu and it's the most common reason babies are hospitalized for respiratory infection. Like flu and COVID-19, RSV is also harder on older adults and causes an estimated 14,000 deaths annually in the US. There's no vaccine approved for RSV yet, but clinical trials are underway and a preliminary data from earlier this month shows efficacy in the 80 to 90% range, which is really promising for next year that we may have an effective RSV vaccine. Now to flu. Flu season officially started three weeks ago, and we're starting to see more cases and upticks in wastewater levels in Marin. Flu typically surges in early December in Marin County, but the pandemic has disrupted historical patterns, and it's hard to know when it might take off in earnest for us. As we know, prior to the pandemic, flu was the leading cause from viral illness in the US, causing up to 50,000 deaths per year with nine out of 10 of those deaths being among people over age 65. Fortunately, as you know, there is a flu vaccine and it's a good match for the strains we're seeing circulating this year. And you can get it at the same time as you get your fall COVID booster. Which brings us to the third fall virus we're facing, which is of course COVID-19. The COVID forecast for the fall has improved a bit since my last update two weeks ago. Look into Europe, the surge in cases we were watching closely seems to have peaked last week and is declining again. In Marin, our cases, hospitalization, and wastewater levels don't yet show signs of surge. And in regions globally, where the emerging BAQ variant is taking over, we're not seeing sustained surges in hospitalizations. This suggests that this new variant, which we should expect to become more prevalent here soon, doesn't seem to be driving more severe illness, at least yet. So what does this all mean? We are seeing seasonal respiratory viruses on the move in Marin, which signals the possibility of a surge in respiratory illness into our hospitals, but that hasn't happened yet, and it's too early to know if and when it might. We're monitoring the situation closely. We've added surveillance tools to track influenza and RSV to COVID-19 in our wastewater. For anyone interested, you can see levels on our flu website at flu.marinhhs.org. That's flu.marinhhs.org. One of the principles of our pandemic response is to make public the same data we use internally to understand patterns of disease and community and guide our community response. We hope you'll find this information useful. It's too early to tell if and how the triple threat will impact Marin, but we do have basic tools to protect us. Please stay home when you're sick and take extra measures to protect our older adults. But by far our most important tool is vaccinations, both against COVID and flu, with the new fall booster and the annual flu shot. Thank you again for doing your part.